Welcome to this week's Market Watch. I want to talk about something that may not seem that exciting, but actually has a lot of momentum in the marketplace in sports media and entertainment, and that's the venue itself. We go back before the pandemic, the entire industry was really focused on the how the venue itself was becoming smarter, how we were putting sensors everywhere in the venue so that you could decrease your wait time at a line or a concession stand, park in a more efficient way so you could get to your seat faster, and even order concessions from your seat. Those things were really termed smart venue, the digital ticketing, the fan cams, all the different things that you could do in the venue got people excited about technology making their way into old school concrete. Well, the pandemic hit, and a lot of the vendors that were working on making the venue smarter we're also now in a position that they had to figure out something very quick to pivot their companies. And we saw some really interesting innovations happen. We have a client called Armored Things who was doing crowd dynamics. They were trying to figure out where people were so that they could help in the case of an incident, a shooting or something horrible that needed to make sure that everybody got out of the venue safely. That was incident response technology. And they pivoted in a very smart way, now making their technology into more of a crowd flow analytics tool to figure out where people are and how their experience changes depending on where they are in the venue. FanCam, another company that was really just about figuring out where you were in the venue so you could put your picture up on Facebook. And they use gigapixel cameras to look at the entire crowd at once. FanCam, super interesting company, pivoted as well. Now they're more about the intelligence of who's in the venue, when they're there, what time they arrive, what time they exit. These are the types of things that we're keeping our eye on at Sports Innovation Lab. Venue ties changing from an app company to an experience company, figuring out where the journey is in the, in the building. Clear going from an access control and security company to actually a biometric authentication or identification company that can help with payment, help Kim with the fan journey and other things within the venue as well. You go from smart venue to this concept of now all these new technologies are making their way into the fan journey, and you have a really interesting evolution for this space. And we use the term now digital twin. And we're playing with that term because NASA used it a long time ago to figure out how a rocket ship would be mirrored somewhere else. And you could really have a replication on a digital scale of the actual thing. The venue itself through the pandemic had this occur where a lot of people like Scenic and Live Lake were trying to replicate the in-venue experience through online media, through watching together, through watch parties, through Zoom, through other types of OTT platforms that were adopting this technology. The digital twin is the next generation of the smart venue. Think about it that way, and you'll understand why these new companies like Willow, Venue Twin, One Plan are coming about, because they're providing technology that allows you to look at data in the venue in a new way, and they're going to be that analytics layer that really helps us understand what the digital journey looks like online in the metaverse, and what happens actually in the venue itself. Really cool stuff, very much top of mind for us um, at Sports Innovation Lab, and you should keep your eye on the way that the smart venue market is changing as well.